Again, we're going to start down on our backs. Soles of our feet together, knees out wide. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing in to a four count. Holding to a four count and exhaling to a four count. But before we start again, I always love to ring the gong. So I'll do that right now. or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that 
adding tension with one deep inhale and one deep exhale. Inhale your knees and arms to center. And while you're still on the bolster, exhale as your knees fall to the left, arms to the right. Look over your right shoulder and breathe. Again, breathing into this simple twist, opening up those right obliques as you do. And smile. It's Tuesday. It's a beautiful day out today. Far 
as you can with a flat back. Fingers come down, hearts come down, third eye comes down. Again, breathing in and out. Maybe place your third eye on the mat, rock it back and forth, open up your intuition as you do. In humbly bowing, deer pose. Breathing in and out as you do.
walk those hands back again. Exhale as you lift that left knee, drawing that left foot to your right thigh. We're in half lotus now. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Inhale those arms all the way up. And exhale as you fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. Fingertips come down, hearts come down again. And humbly bowing, have lotus, maybe placing your third eye on the mat, rocking it back and forth, breathing in and out. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, first. Inhale, that left arm all the way up. Exhale, down to the right. Coming down onto that right elbow. Look up towards the ceiling. Again, opening up those left obliques as we do. Breathing in and out. Toxins. <clears throat> Inhale back to center. Good job. Let's go ahead and extend our legs and shake them out. Good job. And then from here, come back to Sukhasana. Place your hands on the mat and roll up into the table. In table, our shoulders are above our wrists. Our hips are above our knees. And if we look between our legs, we shouldn't see our feet. Let's go ahead and inhale. Again, the cow. Looking up towards your third eye. Exhale as you bend those elbows. As you transition, coming in.
puppy pose. You can stay here, or you can walk those hands out in front of you, coming down into heart to mouth pose. And again, breathing in and out as you do. Opening up your heart. Opening up your shoulders as well. Let's go ahead and drag our hips down towards our heels in Balasana. Child's pose. When we're in Balasana, you can place your forehead on the mat and maybe rock it back and forth, opening your intuition as you do. Again, child's pose is a resting pose. You can come here whenever you want to during a practice. Draw your hands to Anjali Mudra behind you. Push those fingertips up towards the crowns of your heads. In Anjali Mudra, opening up your shoulders, your wrists, your fingers, your toes, and your ankles. And again, this is a Tibetan bowl meditation.
Again, feeling, feeling that white light rising through all of your chakras from your <clears throat> root chakra to your sacral, to your solar plexus, to your heart, to your throat, to your third eye, all the way up to your crown chakra. a bit longer today. If this is too intense, you can also be on the tops of your feet. You can have your hands in front of you, making infinity symbols. Wherever you are is perfect. and move to the wall. So if you have a wall available, we're moving that mat so that it's perpendicular to the wall. <clears throat> Placing your bolster, your blanket, halfway up. Placing your hips against the wall. Either side is fine. Inhale first. Exhale as you turn towards the wall, extending your legs. And again, heels are on the wall. Lying back again. In legs up the wall, allowing the circulation to come back down to your vital organs, back down to your brain. We're here for three minutes. Again, this is a restorative asana. This allows us to look younger. It keeps us from having varicose veins. If you have any swelling in your ankles or your feet or your calves, this is helpful. Again, breathing in.
slowly inhale and exhale as we allow our legs to fall open with gravity as far as you can we're moving into dragonfly and again breathing in your right foot over your left leg just below your knee press on that right thigh and then inhale first 
and exhale as you bend with that left leg, dragging your left foot down the wall. Again, we're in resting pigeon, up the wall. <clears throat> Breathing in and out. Again, we're opening up our right hip, releasing any unwanted emotions that you may be storing there. Breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you extend your legs upward. Exhale as you place the soles of your feet together, dragging the blades of your feet down the wall as far as you can into Baddha Konasana. And again, breathing in and out in Baddha Konasana. Let's take two more deep breaths here in Vatikanasana. Then slowly inhale as you extend your legs. Exhale as you draw your knees in. Again, for a much deserved hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Roll over to the right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. And using the strength of your arms, come back to the top of your mat. 
draw your bolster, your uh, your blanket up to the top as well. Roll over on your backs. Make sure that you have enough room for your legs. And then take your block in hand. Place your heels just below your sit bones. Inhale first as you push your hips up. Place the block underneath your sacrum and exhale as you allow yourselves to melt into the block again in a supported bridge. Breathing in and out. Again, possibly draw your arms overhead. Maybe walk your feet out in a T formation or a mushroom formation. Again, wherever you are is perfect. Deep stretch opening up your lower back region as much as possible as you breathe. Slowly draw those arms back overhead, walk your feet in. Inhale as you push your hips up Releasing the block and exhale down again. Draw your knees in for a hug. Rock back and forth. <coughs> and then inhale first. Exhale as you release that right leg. Straightening it out below you. Inhale that left arm up overhead. And exhale as you push your left knee over to the right. Look over your left shoulder and breathe. Again, full body twist. Releasing anything that we haven't yet. Looking over that left shoulder. Slowly inhale back to center, wrap your arms around your knees, grab opposite elbows, rock back and forth. Inhale first, then exhale as you extend that left leg. Inhale your right arm up overhead and exhale as you drag that right knee over to the left. Look over your right shoulder and breathe. <coughs> Again, in a full body twist, breathing in and out. back to center, draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And then from here, inhale through your noses, side out. <sighs> One more time, inhale. Intention. Allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso. Palms are up to receive. Down to ground. Starting to relax. Relax.
relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles, relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs, relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers, relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms, relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks, relax your foreheads, relax the crowns of your heads, just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room, legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. <clears throat> From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides in each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of the week. And I will see you tomorrow if you're here. Namaste. Thank you all. I'm going to go ahead and ring the gong so funny because you always think that you're completely healed and then you realize that it's not completely the case. Again, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.